It has already been two years since me and my wife moved back from Malta to Sweden and we are living here in Sweden right now and I want to just give you a little bit update and tell you a little bit about what we are doing today and what happened since we moved from Malta. Hi, Christopher Aspen here and I just want to greet you to come back to this channel that have been a little bit dead recently. I haven't been putting up so much videos and it has been a lot of reasons to that and I won't go into deeper about why but uh, just want to start to say that this is a channel I started for many years ago. I started it in Swedish and when we moved to Malta I started to do English uh, videos because I wanted to reach the people that we are coming in contact with and so on when we're living in a country that doesn't speak Swedish and uh, now when we moved back to Sweden it was pretty bit difficult to continue to do these videos in the same way so we have been putting this little bit on the side i have done some you know uh, live stream videos but not much of it but i have been focusing on, on a new channel and i will share more about that later but i just want to start to say that uh, we are alive. <laughs> we have been uh, having a great time here in Sweden now. We are, of course, missing the great weather in Malta and uh, we are missing our friends and uh, our spiritual family there. So for a week or one and a half week ago, we went back to Malta to just visiting our friends and be there for 11 days. So we just came back now for a little bit over a week ago and we are back now in Sweden and uh, it was a great time. So it's great to meet all the people that we have been having, sharing so much memories with. And I took a lot of time also, of course, to go out on the street to preach and uh, to, to reach people with the gospel. So it was a great time to just hang out with, with our and have fellowship, but also to do some preaching. But um, it was great and there was a lot of memories coming back because when we moved from Malta it was a little bit crazy. It was in the end of the Corona time and we really had to force to wear masks and so on. But now everything was like, it, it was like it have never been a time like that. So a lot of things have happened in Malta since then. And uh, it was great to come back and see that it was full with people on the streets and so on. But I want to share a little bit about what happened since we come back and what we are doing right now. Uh, I have been focusing a lot of to work with the, the where we live today. We are living in a town called Norrköping. It's a town like one and a half hour with car from the capital and uh, a little bit uh, smaller town. And uh, it's not that many people as it is in Stockholm, but it's pretty big town so you can still work with street evangelism and uh, we are doing a lot of uh, you know ministry here too so but the thing was when we moved from Malta we wanted to continue to live and do the same thing what we have done there that was to walk by faith and we want to live in faith and so we just continue to just see God what you want us to do and uh, it has been an amazing journey these two years and it still are happening a lot of things. Uh, when we now came back to Sweden, it was um, we just uh, came to this town and we started to find people to, to, to contact with. And we find some people that we have, uh, have been contacting with on an email and we started a Bible study group here in North Shopping also. We started to go out on the street to evangelize, to preach and also to just to reach out to people. And I was just focusing on that. So that is really what I have been doing and my wife too. You know, when we were living in Malta, when everything was closed down, also her business was closing down. So it was not that much work for her because she is a, you know, a makeup artist, face painter and working with, you know, children events and so on. So during the lockdown, they didn't want to hire her because they didn't was, there wasn't any events going on. But in the same week, we moved back to Sweden. We saw how the work was just starting for her. And today she is in full time i also have to help her with some administration and so on with her business but uh, mostly what i'm focusing on is still to just building you know bible study groups and having uh, you know working with people doing disciples but also street preaching and 
I'm making videos still for YouTube and social media. Uh, not on this channel, as you can see, if you have been following me with uh, lately, you see that I haven't put up so much videos here. But you can see also that uh, that's what I have been focusing on to do. I'm making a new uh, YouTube channel that calls Uptech Jesus in Swedish and it's like uh, uh, discover Jesus that is what the name of the that uh, you know channel is and it's also what I have been focusing on to making videos about because I want to make a channel for the people we meet on the street and I will want to do it in Swedish and uh, I want to start a fresh new channel so I started this Uptake Jesus and uh, it have been it's a journey. I'm doing a lot of videos there and I've been focusing on the winter time to make more videos about, you know, the foundation of the kingdom and just sharing about the gospel for a way that people that have never heard about Jesus and want to know more about him and to want to discover him that they can just go in and find out more about him. So that is what I have been focusing on when I'm doing videos. So I will put up a link, you can find it there. And if you don't speak Swedish, it will be difficult for you to understand what I'm saying because it's not subtitled and uh, so <laughs> sorry for that. But uh, I have been focusing on f to, to find the people here that I can just uh, continue. When we are meeting people on the street, for example, when we are doing evangelism, I want to have a, a place that they can continue to know more about Jesus. So that was the reason I put up this YouTube channel. We are also working to, you know, equip others to go out on the street. So I have been having this uh, Facebook site called Evangelize Nor Shopping, and it's also been growing. It's a lot of people now following us, see what we are doing on Facebook. So we are putting out new things happening all the time. So you know, new, during this summertime, there had been a lot of street preaching going on. I have been, you know, around four to six times a week, I've been out on the street and preaching and evangelizing and uh, doing that kind of job. So that has been my focus lately. So it's I have not been to focus on the videos because that is better to do here in the winter time because then when it's dark, it's rainy, it's windy, it's... Uh, it's sometimes harder to go out and evangelize. So then it's better to maybe go and making some videos. So that's why now I'm sitting in the autumn and it's getting more dark. So I'm doing videos for that reason too right now. But I want to share more about the thing I have been focusing on and that is to making this Discover Bible Study groups. And uh, we started it before we moved to Malta. We started a group in Sweden. We tested it and we saw it was really fruitful in many ways. People were really growing when, when they were learning from that. But when we moved to Malta, we started a group and we saw one more group uh, for a while also. So we had two groups in, a, in one time, but uh, we were just focusing on just to have people coming together every week to study the Bible together to have fellowship to to you know uh, eat together to to you know st just have a good time and fellowship and learn to know more about Jesus and we still do that and we still have one group right now we have been working with some students so we have had another group in a time but it has been a real journey for us to learn so much just more about what we how we shall live as not only as disciples but also as a spiritual family so today we are we are a family here we are growing together we are discovering jesus together we are you know going out on the street together we are evangelizing and we see that people come to faith all the time and that is also something I've been seeing on the street when we've been out and preaching. Many times when you're street preaching, that is a very, you know, offensive way to, to share the gospel. When you are doing it in a way of, you know, having this discover, discover Bible study groups and try to meet personal peace and you invite them, then it's a lot of, you work a lot of it friendship with families, with people that you already know and you try to build up a relationship with them. So many times you don't maybe go so hard on them and just sharing the gospel in that provoking ways that you do when you are standing on a box and you're street preaching. But street preaching is also needed because many people need to hear the gospel. And it's a, like a spiritual thing when you're standing and preaching on the street. So you meet a lot of, you know, 
it's a spiritual fight also that it, there is a place where you can find people of peace, that you can find people that are ready to hear more about the gospel. So that is what we are doing today. And I'm doing it still like three times a week right now. But a little bit less now when it's winter time and going to focusing more of making videos to get again and so on. So that is a little bit what's happening right now. And my, I, I can see also that in my personal developing that what I happened in my life during these years, I see so much things happening. And I'm so grateful to God. Jesus are doing amazing things in my life during this process too. And also in my wife. So we are seeing right now that that uh, we have been growing so much just to go and in faith and see what God is doing. So what we see right now is that uh, we see a maturity coming when we are having more, much more time with God. We are taking much more time with prayer and take the, that much more serious that we have done before. And that is what we can see also where all the fruit comes from. It comes from the personal relationship with God. And that is what we are focusing on when we are also trying to, you know, uh, do all the other things we do. So I don't want to put too much time for the street and doing videos or the groups if I don't take time and spend it with God in, in the prayer closet and in the studying and in the way of just having a relationship with him. So we are learning a lot of things. So that is what's happening right now. And uh, so I just want to just have a little bit update that we are still working for the Lord. We're still doing things here and God is doing amazing things. Not everything is on a camera. And I'm glad for that because we don't want to put everything out. We want to see what is happening sometimes when the camera is not on too. So what is going to happen now is that I will continue to do the Bible studies. We will continue to go out on the street. We'll continue to make disciples and work with the people we are that God is putting in our way. But I also want to make more videos, of course. So I will just continue to do videos. I will do more videos here on my Christopher Aspen site too. And I will continue to do it in English. Because I made a video when I was living in Malta. And it went viral. So many people started to subscribe after that video. Uh, and so I can think about there were a little bit confusion when I was starting to make some English videos. Then I jumped into making some Swedish videos and now I'm doing English again. But I think I have a lot of friends that it's not speaking Swedish. So I want to have this site for you and I want this this channel to be more about what is the, the way of, you know, walking with Jesus and the, the everyday life with the Lord. Uh, so I will continue to make videos. So I don't say when I'm going to put out videos, but I will do it sometimes then and then. But uh, just want to share this with you and thank you everyone that want to have been praying for us and are praying for us and praying for what is happening for Sweden because Sweden are going through some crazy time right now. There, there are the, the whole world is going through crazy time right now. But we see it on there is a, like a spirit of fear and you you see a lot of people are afraid because of terrorist attacks and so on. So, I mean, we need to pray in this time and we still to do have to do the work of the Lord. But I, I can make more videos about that and talk more about what is happening and how we are fighting this spiritual battle. But today I just want to greet you, say that God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye.